In this video, I'm going to show you how I set up Blender for sculpting. So the first thing that I do is delete everything and then I press Shift A and I usually like to use an Icosphere. Now over there on those Icosphere settings, the subdivisions, I like to turn that up to something pretty high like a 6. Then I hop over to the Sculpting tab and I really like using the Sculpting tab because pretty much everything is already set up and then when I'm done sculpting, I can just click back over on the layout and I'll be back to the original layout. Now the sidebar there with all the brushes, I like to pull this out so that there are two rows of brushes. Now this little widget right here in the corner, I really don't use this and so I just click this button right here to turn that off. And then right over here on the right side with the properties, you could leave this here if you want to, but if you want to have a little more space, you can actually close these by just clicking, dragging up, and then let go. And then right over here where the crosshair is, just click and then drag over and let go. Most of the time when I'm sculpting, I actually don't really need this sidebar because right up here on the top panel are all of the settings that I'm going to need for sculpting. So if you want a little more space for sculpting, you could close that properties panel. Now right here, the radius and strength, you can see that there are some buttons here and these control the pen pressure. So I like to keep the strength turned on and that way when I press harder with my drawing tablet, it adds more strength to the brush. Now the radius, you could turn that on if you want, but for most things that I do, I actually like to leave that off. Sometimes I like to turn it on, but for most things that I do, I just leave it off. Now if you click right over here on brush, I like to turn on accumulate and front faces only. Now what accumulate does is when you start to sculpt, it'll just keep on adding more clay and adding more clay or subtracting more clay. If you have this turned off, it's only going to go so far and then you'll have to release your pen and then sculpt again for it to continue to add more clay. Now I turn the front faces only on because sometimes, for instance, if you're sculpting like an ear on a character, somewhere where the sculpt is very thin, sometimes the front of the sculpt and the back of the sculpt can meet and you can have some errors and other problems can happen while you're sculpting. So if you turn on front faces only, then it's only going to sculpt on the front faces. And then I usually sculpt creatures or characters. I usually like to sculpt faces. So I turn on the X symmetry and then when you sculpt, it's going to mirror it on both sides. Now I like to use the Dine Topo workflow, so I just click right there and then click on OK to turn it on. And then the detailing, I like to leave that at relative detail and that way when you zoom in, there's going to be more detail and then when you zoom out, there's going to be less detail. Now the detail size, I like to turn this all the way down to 3. Now if this is too high detail for you, maybe Blender is kind of laggy if you have it that high, then you could turn it up maybe to 5 or 6 or something, but I like to have it turned down to 3 so that it's very high detail. Now as far as the mat cap goes, if you just click right here and click on mat cap, I like to use this mat cap right here, this red one. You could use whatever mat cap you like. You can even create your own mat caps. I have a video on that, links in the description. But this red mat cap is my favorite mat cap for sculpting. And then the last thing that I do is I press Control S to save my Blender file. And then when I'm sculpting, I can just press Control S and it's going to save my file. And I like to press Control S a lot while I'm sculpting and that way if Blender crashes for some reason, I won't lose very much progress. And that's it. So that's how I set up Blender for sculpting. Now there's just a few more tips that I wanted to go over. The first thing is I would highly recommend you use a drawing tablet if you're able to, because drawing tablets are really going to help you to improve your sculpting. Now I like to use a display drawing tablet and those are really cool, but if you're looking for a cheaper option, even if you can just get one of those smaller pad tablets, those are going to be way better than using a mouse. Also, I have a multi-monitor setup on my computer, so what I like to do is to just add reference images on another monitor, but if you only have one monitor, what you can do is you can click on the crosshair and drag out, and then you can click right here and you can change this to the image editor. Then what you can do is you can just drag and drop an image into that workspace and use that as a reference image as your sculpting. So that's going to be it for this video. If you'd like to help support what I do, I'm going to have links in the description to my Gumroad store and my Patreon page. Thank you for watching. I hope this video was helpful and I'll see you in a future video.